Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for all who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries, for those who are sick, especially with COVID-19, for all those who are serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staff, security forces, pharma staff, supermarket and bank employees, OFWs and seafarers, teachers and school administrators, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors and all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration and for the eternal repose of the souls of our daily departed. Today is Friday of the first week of Lent. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. Set me free from my distress, O Lord. See my lowliness and suffering, and take away all my sins. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, we pray, may be so conformed to the Paschal observances that the bodily discipline now solemnly begun may bear fruit in the souls of all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, If the wicked man turns away from all the sins he committed, if he keeps all my statutes and does what is right and just, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the crimes he committed shall be remembered against him. He shall live because of the virtue he has practiced. Do I indeed derive any pleasure from the death of the wicked, says the Lord God? Do I not rather rejoice when he turns from his evil way that he may live? And if the virtuous man turns from the path of virtue to do evil, the same kind of abominable things that the wicked man does. Can we still do this and still live? None of his virtuous deeds shall be remembered, because he has broken faith and committed sin. Because of this, 
he shall die. You say, the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel, is it my way that is unfair, or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if the wicked, turning from the wickedness he has committed, does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he has turned away from all the sins that he committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness that you may be revered. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord, more than sentinels wait for the dawn. Let Israel wait for the Lord. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, Unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to Sahidrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar, go first, be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will have son. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
our understanding of Lent will always be dependent on how we understand who God is. And it's good that this week we started with the question, who is Jesus for you? And allow me to recall this week message to us that this understanding of who is Jesus for you will always affect your prayer. It will always affect <clears throat> your, your, your relationship with others. That it is not enough to have knowledge about me being told that I am sinful. I have to accept my your your words your prayers will be nothing if you fail to relate in a good way towards your brothers and sisters and this celebration today we are being reminded that sin is not simply to do the law but to understand that sin will always merit death. Sin will always lead you to death. Not only physical death. Not only physical death. When you sin, as I have said, you rob your children, your descendants, even yourself of a good future. Ikaw mismo, ang sabi nga, ay gumagawa ng paraan upang ang magandang kinabukasan ay mawala sa iyo. You are made to turn away from sin because you are the one depriving yourself not only of good future, but the possibility of spending your eternity with God. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, for those who have been sending messages saying, nakakahiya naman, Father, ngayon ko lang ito nalaman. There's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Maybe nadidinig natin yan dati, pero hindi lang natin napapagtubunan ng pansin. And we should be grateful rather than being shameful of having the realization of what we just have learned. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, again, a long message was sent last night regarding a husband who was and is unfaithful, realizing the words that I said yesterday that you should stop sinning or something worse might happen to you. And the wife said, Nangyari na, Father. Nangyari na. Biglang nalugi, na bankrupt ang negosyo, pati ang savings naming mag-asawa para sa anak, nagagastos na kasi ayaw tumigil sa pambababae. Pero mas malungkot, Father, hirap na hirap na kami ngayon ng bababae pa rin. Nang bababae pa rin. Bumibili pa ng sapatos, pang forma. Maraming kwentong ganun. Yung babae niya, Father, binibilihan pa niya ng load. Ano po? Pagka minsan, pag binabasa mo yung ganun, Iniisip mo na, ano ba ito? Nakikinig na ba ako sa chismis? O nakikinig lang talaga ako sa kwento? Mahabang mahaba. Anyway, ang sabi niya sa akin, pero hindi siya nagbabago, Father. Hanggang kailan kaya kami dito? Well, pangkaraniwang kwento yan. 
pero na-alarm ako nung sabi na naman niya, sabi doon sa isang part ng message ay, pero yan, Father, linggo-linggo yung nakikinig sa misa mo. Ayun, mas alarming, no? Sabi, mukhang hindi ako effective. <laughs> mukhang hindi ako effective. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, do not wait for the last moment when you will be caught, you will be put to judge, ha? then you will be put into jail. We are not talking about earthly jail here. We're talking about hell. We're talking about hell. Reconcile. Going to Mass, even in online, is bringing ourselves to God. The greatest gift we can offer to God is ourselves. Do not forget that. The greatest gift we can offer to God is ourselves. Not money. Not anything else. Remember this. Because God can always make people worship Him. Or what did He say during the Palm Sunday? I can even make the stones cry out in worship. Kayang gawin ng Diyos yun. Hindi kailangan ng Diyos na mga taong pupuri sa Kanya. Kung talagang kailangan lang niya ng tagapuri. Ang mga anghel hindi tumitigil sa pagpupuri sa Diyos. Ang hinihingi ng Diyos ay isang mahalimuyak na handog. Mabangong handog. At ano yun? Ang handog ng ating mga sarili sa Diyos. The greatest offering we can give to God is ourselves. Is ourselves. And ourselves is always, when you look at ourselves, it's always about how we relate to one another. Honestly, when if you were given a chance to go to Israel, and you, you see these Hasidic Jews, the ultra-conservative Jews, you know you can never be like them. Tayo mga Pilipino, di natin kaya yun. How faithful they are to their promises. In little things, in little things, how they wash their hands, how they, how they put everything in the table. Mga osi sila. Ano po? Hindi ko alam. But because that is uh, knowing that how you arrange your table, how you sit together, how you, you bring yourself in prayer and even in public is a way of prayer. They know that their greatest offering to God is how they behave. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, mabuti na lang hindi yun ang panukatan, paano makakapasok sa pinto ng langit. Ako mismo nagsasabi sa sarili ko, di ko kaya ito. Di ko kaya ito. Yung mga babae dito, kaya nyo ba? Nasabi nga, pag kayo ay nag-asawa na, magpapakalbo kayo sa misis magpapakalbo kayo para sa mister ninyo. Malulugi ang parlor. Hindi po ba? Ano? Ha? Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. Kaya nyo ba talaga yun? Na hindi nyo pipindutin yung, yung mga button sa, sa elevator because you obey God? tumigil kayo. No? Marami nga sa atin, ayaw pumila eh. Hindi po ba? No? Ayaw pumila. At pag mahaba ang pila, maputi lang ang buhok mo. Ha? At sinabihan ka, senior kayo. Kahit hindi ka senior, ano po may pila ka eh. Ha? Di ba? Ano? Ha? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, look into yourself. Again, the understanding of Lent will always be dependent on how you understand who is Jesus for you. 
Who is Jesus for you? As we continue in this celebration, remember this. Always remember this. That life is short and death is certain. Yesterday, we lost a good, a good priest. Keep this in mind. We don't have the luxury of time. And every day is a time not only to know that I have, I have sinned, but to accept my own sinfulness and to turn away from sin. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water in wine, we may come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this wine to offer, fruit of the vine work human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with a sacrifice. We offer you with humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of your mind be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, by which in your power and kindness you willed us to be reconciled to yourself and our salvation be restored through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful awaits the sacred Paschal feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may lead us to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glorious without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence. And I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember your servant, Monsignor Dan, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santa Maria Goretti, and all the saints of Lichu throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families. Peace in our workplace, peace in our community, 
peace in our country and in the world, and grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio Petrocina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, <clears throat> for you are my light and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late in the days coming to a close and life passes that judgment eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way. And for that, I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptation, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord. For it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May the holy refreshment of your sacrament restore us anew, O Lord, and cleansing us of old ways, take us up into the mystery of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for a new Archbishop for the Archdiocese of Manila. Heavenly Father, you have blessed our Archdiocese time and again with good, holy, learned, and wise shepherds who have led us ever closer to you. Aware of your profound love for us, we ask you to bless us once again. Send us a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next Archbishop. Inspire us, the clergy, religious, and laity, to work generously with him so that we might grow together in your love and continue the good work you have begun in us for the sake of all people. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. A smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions.
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please rise. Last Monday, we were just happy with the news that Monsignor Dan will be out of the hospital this week. He was in the hospital for a little over a month due to COVID, due to COVID. Kaya nga ang aking paalala sa inyo lahat, may virus pa. Ano pa? May virus pa. At nakakamatay. Nakakamatay. Ingat po palagi. Huwag pong pasaway. Ano pa? Kahit na yan ay pari. Ano pa? Siyempre, tinatanong mo, magkano ang bill? Kahit pari, malaki rin. Ano pa? Kahit mayroong senior citizen discount, malaki pa rin. Ano pa? Huwag kayong magkakasakit, lalong-lalo na ng COVID. Ano pa? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, if we fail to understand the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. we go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, We cry, poor banished children of Eve, to you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this body of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after these, our exile, show unto us the blessed. O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Ingat po palagi. God bless.